so here's a video review for uh, Warrior Class Starscream from Cyberverse. And if I sound unenthused, well, I mean, you won't be able to blame me by the time this is done. So I fell for, I, was, I knew I was getting it Shockwave. I found the Warrior Class Cyberverse figures at Target today. They had tags out for all of them, but I didn't find the Ultimate Class. I do want the Ultimate Class Megatron and maybe even the Prime. Because it seems like you have to buy the larger size classes to really get a decent transforming figure. The smaller ones... Slightly than this, only half transform, it looks like, and uh, whatever, you know, like, so here's his jet mode, and it looked cooler on the packaging, and you can see it, it really kind of looks like a Happy Meal toy, and like, I, I'm not even necessarily saying that as a, ooh, Happy Meal toy, like derogatory stuff, that's what it looks like, it, it, it's not super complex, it's laid out in Starscream colors, um, but it, I mean, it just kind of feels like something like you'd get in a maybe a premium type value meal type of deal. His wings flip out, but we'll talk about that in a minute. They're spring loaded for some reason. They don't lock out. But uh, there you go. So here's a jet, his stumpy little jet mode. It, it kind of reminds me, honestly, very much of the old Pretender Starscream in jet mode. <laughs> Whether that's a good or bad thing is up to you. It is $15. Um, so yeah, and to transform him. You just untab his legs. There, there are some tabs in here that tab into his chest. Bring him down. Bring this whole cockpit, of, or untab the arms. They're tabbed into the sides, kind of holding this whole thing together. Bring the cockpit assembly up. Bring the waist down. And snap him uh, counterclockwise. We'll click him into position facing front. Untab his legs. Bring his arms down. You can kind of get the wings to lock into place. And then this assembly comes up. There's a little tab here on this red piece that's going to lock in up here. And then just kind of fold that uh, landing gear up as much as you can. It would have been nice. Like, it, 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 it would have taken of so much. If they made this a little smaller, it wouldn't have taken much more clearance to have this be able to fold up into the cockpit and fold up on his back. Like, look at that. I mean, it's, it's almost enough to go through, but because of that tab... Um, you can't do it. Like if you shaved out some of this little piece right here, it, it almost kind of looks like originally that piece was going to be hollowed out behind the tab, and they said, well, the tab's not strong enough uh, for safety testing. It looks, But it looks like the initial idea was was going to be to allow that landing gear to fold up, because there's otherwise there's no reason for it to fold up all this way uh, onto his back, but you need to have that hanging down. And then just like that. And here he is in robot mode. Now, one of the, his head does turn, and that is the one advantage I think he has over Shockwave. Is that his head can turn. Because the rest of him... Let's see if we can refocus here and get a little brighter. Um, he's, got, he's got some shoulder movement, hinged elbows, standard, nice. Um, he does have some waist articulation, and his... Legs cannot move independently of it. Oh, look, I thought they did. No, they're, they're linked together. They can go out to the side, but you'll notice from the back, they're all hollow. He has no knees. He's stuck constantly like this with his giant-ass feet and his skinny thighs. Now, the reason he does not he does not seem to be latching here like this is because this is his gimmick uh, of dubious intent or dubious uh, execution. You can spin him at the waist where there's a spring that's winding up and winding up and winding up, and then let go, and he wing slices. So basically, very quickly, with that centripetal force, his wings flip up, and the force kind of allows these to swing out a bit, like he's spinning around and slicing you with his blades. Doing so, however, puts enough torque on that spring, depending on how tight you wind him up, that after that, it's really hard to get him to stay. You see, you can just do like a half spin, you can kind of see that they do come out, or they'll flip up like that. Um, but uh, you have to what, what, after if you do that, you kind of have to click him around again to get him to stay more or less in a satisfactory uh, forward-facing position. Although even now, you can see he's not quite centered, and so you have to kind of keep clicking him through until you get him into a decent position. And he's really hard to get to stand uh, if you want him in a certain pose because of his no knees. Like, he, he really is limited. He can move his arms about a bit, but he's kind of limited to this awkward, le slightly lean forward stance with his hollow legs. And uh, it's a shame. Aesthetically, I like some of the stuff they're doing 
with his design. I can see how it could look on the cartoon. And, and I like some of the angles and like some like the vents here on his abdomen. There's some neat stuff going on here. I, but this figure is not a great representation of the uh, what I think the cartoon's going to look like, at least even what I've seen of the cartoon. There is... Uh, he does not have an Ultimate Class version yet, which seems to be the only ones that are really... Um, I don't want to say gimmick-free, but like look the most like Transformers. They're only 30 bucks, and they look to be about leader class size. Um, although very simplistic, which is probably, probably 30 bucks, But... The, uh, the larger Starscream that we're getting, the, the, the smaller one only, like, it's not even like a proper Gearwalk. It, like, half transforms. I guess it's kind of a gearwalk looking thing. Um, and the, but the bigger one has probably has a more satisfying transformation, more posability, but also has, like, these big drum barrel things on his wings that half launch missiles. Like, the gimmick is they pop out, and it looks like he's launching missiles, but they don't actually launch launch. They just kind of pop out and simulate an effect of just launching missiles. Which in and of itself is kind of a neat idea. It's just weird, like Starscream when he's in robot mode, the, the, the big barrels just end up sitting here next to his shoulders and it looks a little awkward. So, uh, and then just as a quick size comparison or comparison with the previous line, here's uh, an, another kind of coolish Starscream design from Robots in Disguise. And spend your money on that. If you're gonna, if you're gonna buy one of the more recent cartoon Starscreams, much better deal on this one. You get an actual transformable character an okay jet mode, a better jet mode than this guy, and he's not hampered by a gimmick. Now, Starscream is does appear to be less hampered, like he looks like Starscream at least in robot mode. Uh, he's not hampered in that way by his gimmick because, uh, like Optimus Prime, apparently has a permanently belt bent elbow on his left arm and no hand. Like there's a pop out axe, and instead of working the mechanism so when you folded the axe in to lock it for the gimmick. It flipped out a fist, so he at least had a hand on that side. It's just no hand, and then the axe flips out when you activate the gimmick, which apparently doesn't work. Uh, Bolt Matrix had a, was showing me, he did a couple of videos on Twitter and was showing off the gimmick on Prime, and like, I mean, the Warriors seem to not be worth it. Shockwave's good. We'll get to him in a minute. But uh, it seems like if you really want to have fun with your Transformers, as an adult, I mean, kids might like these, I don't know. But... Uh, you're going to want to go for the larger size classes. So there he is. Um, Warrior class Starscream. Like I said, the, the package... I, I only wanted Shockwave. I heard he was decent. And the rest looked kind of bunk. And then I saw Starscream in the store. I'm like, oh, that doesn't look as bad as I've heard. No, it was. 